Virgo welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new please smash the like button and subscribe personal reading link is in the description box below you can also become a member of my channel if you would like to join um, all right so anyway I was shuffling and recording and then I had to stop the, the reading so I just picked back up again so we're gonna do a love reading here from the time you're listening to this all the way through September so let's just get into this, right? So past position, a sense of sadness or grief or a sense of loss. Um, somebody feeling here like maybe some remorse or some regret. Um, yeah, somebody's not feeling or wasn't in the past. Just feeling, I, I don't know if like, like something must have happened, okay? So someone is, there's a feeling of abandonment or someone feeling unloved, okay? So the current energy is the magician. So it looks like someone has overcome some sense of loss or some grief. Now this loss or grief could have happened five years ago, five months ago, five weeks ago, five days ago, five hours ago. And if it was five hours ago, it's like, damn, right back up on the ball. So the magician is here and the current energy is obviously that's Gemini energy. Somebody here is being very focused and working to make some type of change in their life. And it's, it feels like it's, you know, it's, it's a benefit, but it isn't a challenged position. So I do feel like there is someone here who is going to be, whether it's you or another person is, is like the wheel is turning in their favor and it's time I feel like for whoever this person is to put all their cards out on the table and try to make some magic happen here. This is being inspired to make changes, okay? Which is good, okay? Now there is, what's driving this reading is someone has, someone is inspired by someone else, okay? Some communication, there's a there's somebody has a crush on someone or a feeling of being smitten and this is what's driving this change is the way one person there's a sense of enthusiasm with the page of of wands it's so it's like someone's like oh uh, like a new project i'm gonna accomplish this or maybe some type of communication that's being received or sent where it's like yes getting themselves somebody's getting themselves back on the ball right and becoming very active right but it's but like it the there's a there's a how can i say this because i'm stumbling over my words this feeling of inspiration someone feels inspired to make some type of change here in their life now the king of swords is up here top here which is crowning down on the reading and this gives me a sense of someone who's being very intentional and very strategic and self-sufficient doing something on their own someone is making these changes on their own coming from a place of loss and grief so you know this could be like I don't know if it's like a breakup of some sort that you or another person went through but there's this major shift and change is happening i feel like someone's getting back up on their feet and they're being very strategic like i said um but also self-sufficient being very honest with themselves to make these changes in their life now i just want to get I want to clarify a little bit before we go into the future the future portion of this reading i want to see what happened in the past what was this oh okay so very simple it looks like there was an element of something took really it like took a very long time to get into some kind of a committed relationship or um to lay a foundation so I feel like something must have happened. Um, maybe somebody didn't want to wait anymore. Or they just were like tired of, it was just something was taking really long. This is how I feel this energy from the past played out and something happened 
where someone must have decided that they weren't going to wait anymore and there was some kind of loss because of that okay and now the current energy is you know what i'm gonna somebody here is taking on this energy you are another person of you know i'm gonna create my own magic i'm gonna make my own changes in life it's it's being very focused on the self okay being very focused on self and being feeling inspired as i was saying but also being very strategic in communications and decisions that they want to make okay it's it's kind of like having the opportunity to choose and suss things out being able to decide what one person needs to do okay so the near future you do have the page of cups and if you guys listen to my readings right i do always say that the page of cups can represent like a birthday card there might be a message um if um from someone to you there might be like a happy birthday you might receive from this particular person but there is definitely it might not be birthday but there is going to be some type of communication there might even be might even be an apology of some sort okay yeah some kind of an apology uh somebody it's a very mild loving sweet type of message that comes through or some type of communication so i do feel like if you were in some kind of relationship with someone and that person left you or you left them whatever the scenario is it so if this is your energy virgo it does look like you are very focused on making changes in your life at this time you're feeling very inspired but you're also being very precise about the changes you want to make in your life and i do kind of feel like both people are doing that as well but there's going to be some communication for sure between you and i feel like this person like i said it's really mild it's nothing serious but it is some kind of connection there's a lot of pages here now sitting in the position of you specifically virgo you do have the eight of cups so it looks to me like you have moved on or you are moving on in september you are walking away from a um an emotional kind of thing let me get a little more clarity to take a look more at you yeah something's ended here for you virgo and it's done right for you it's done you are big changes happening in your life currently and through september you're making huge you might be relocating um you're withdrawing um maybe there's some abandonment you're moving on from a situation person place or a thing or, and it looks like this person you um it could be a scorpio you're moving away from it looks like you just you're transforming you're having some kind of rebirth yeah okay and you have some pretty you have your boundaries up and you're being i think you're going to be very persistent with that i don't think you're going to turn in you might look back but i feel like you're i just feel like you're keeping and maintaining your boundaries here anything else for virgo hmm might have been some kind of a cut off maybe you cut someone off or they cut you off or you both cut each other off but it looks like you're cutting something off here you're done it looks like in your energy i mean i just i can't these cards don't lie i mean they're not if you're looking for you know me to tell you that you're crazy in love with someone no this is walking away cutting off putting up walls the death card it's over this is your energy here we'll take a look at this person so this this person whoever your person is here they have the two of swords so as of right now um this person's making a decision to compromise they're going to make a compromise here let's take a look and see what else is going on with them they're ready to compromise yep their heart's broken yep 
their heart is broken. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this person, they they're hitting rock bottom. They are they they're feeling a, a tremendous loss. Maybe even a little bit of depression. There might be like some kind of blocking energy going on with them. But, you know, Virgo, um this person isn't even they don't even want anybody else's love. They may even realize that they've been very indifferent, but they've become indifferent to love as well. Um, or any new potential suitors. I feel like this, whoever your person is here, they, they might be the one reaching out to you, but this person is definitely, as you're listening to this reading and going through September, I don't think a lot of people listen to my readings going into September because I do them every day. I need to put September on the, um, you know, in the caption, but I feel like this person is definitely hitting rock bottom for sure. And are, are willing, they're, they're, the decision that they're, they're thinking, they're definitely thinking, maybe they hurt you, or they've been hurt, or both of you hurt each other. Uh, this person, I feel like, I will say there is a small percentage of you where I do feel like this, this person, they do have a block on you, because... They do have a block on you in some way. Maybe they blocked you somewhere or you blocked them. You guys just are not, there's like no getting in because of a heartbreak thing. And um, because they're, they're just so defeated. Like they, they can't, they don't want any, they're apathetic to any love offers that you might make to them. It feels to me like Virgo, it feels to me like you, this person needs to figure out what, like, you got to leave them alone, I'm hearing. And just, if it's going to happen, if it's meant to be, you guys will connect. If it's not meant to be, just keep moving. It looks to me like that's what you're doing. You, it doesn't look like you're really, it looks like you're out of this situation, or this relationship. This person, I, so I gave you two different messages, and, and the majority of that makes me feel like they're a little conflicted. Like, part of them doesn't want to talk to you and they they just are giving up on love and they're not even going to bother anymore they're done like not just with you but with anybody they're just like their hopes are dashed and they feel betrayed they feel like they've been backstabbed or something along those lines but on the other flip side of the coin they're also like well maybe i just this person's conflicted well maybe i should just make the compromise you know um because they're hitting rock bottom. I kind of feel like they're not sure what to do. And, you know, they're, it, they're not sure which path to take. So they're kind of like in between, you know. Yeah, they want to connect with you. And I do feel like there might be some communication or, or of some sort between you two. Very mild, though. It's nothing serious. So I do feel like this person, and you know what? I'm going to go to the extended reading to see what they actually decide to do. Um, like what's going to happen going forward for the rest of the year here if anything shifts or changes but as far as you go it looks like it's done for you out with the old in with the new kind of thing um and they are they're not sure whether to whether they should what they should do if they should just just leave it alone let it go don't bother anymore or if they should try to reach out they're confused okay so the hopes and fears here, I feel like two people here, look, there's a, there's a hope to have reciprocity, give and take, meeting each other's needs, but there's a fear that that won't happen. And for some reason, this is showing up because perhaps that is something that happened, which caused some kind of breakup. There might have been a lot of breadcrumbing that was going on in this connection. But you also have the three of pentacles as the outcome. And this is calling for two people here to learn from their mistakes. Because even if there is a reconciliation or you and this person coming back together, there's there's got to be, like if you guys get back together and you get on the same train that you've always been on it's just going to be more of the same 
There is a need here with the Three of Pentacles, which represents schooling, so to speak, of being able to collaborate and become a team, but you guys need the skills to be able to do that. There's a lack of skills. I don't even know what that means. It's a lack of proper communication. There's a lack of what it takes to become a team. Okay, so the, the outcome is, even if for you, Virgo, this is not a relationship you wanna to return to, it's still important to learn from the mistakes and maybe to learn from others or to figure out like what, it's really important to take accountability, okay? Even, even if you feel like you were victimized in the relationship the entire time, the fact that something within you caused you to not leave it and that's you know that's something that you have to kind of take a look at for yourself and maybe for the other person if they felt like they were victimized the whole time why did they stay you know these are trauma wounds or things like that to take a look at and to maybe try to understand and learn i know a lot of you probably have already been doing that so i just want to give you a big fat virtual hug for that because that's that's hard work that's that's scary that's scary work because you can feel hopeless at times but you know it's also important that for everything that you look at in your past where you were at fault it's also important to find the positives as well and the good things that you contributed as well you know to balance things out because none of us are perfect we're not all perpetrators and we're not all victims right we all have to i mean unless you were held in a basement chained to the cement floor totally different story but i, I don't feel like we all have free will we have free will in these relationships and sometimes there's just a lack of proper communication it feels like communication skills a lot of it um maybe one person just wasn't talking and the other person was, you know, or, you know, a lot of that energy playing out. But I am going to go into the extended. I'm going to keep doing the reading here so you can stick around if you want to hear more. Um, but I am going to go into the extended to see, you know, what, what, because I feel like this person's kind of on a fence. You know, I gave you two messages. I feel like they're on the fence. Definitely. This makes me feel like on the fence because we have duality here, you know. It's like, we're going to, we got to get off this fence. Are we going to get off this fence and run and go away off into a field somewhere? Or are we going to hop the other way and come home? You know, this is the energy here. So we'll take a look and see what's going to happen there in the extended. The link will be in the description box below. So go check that out. All right, let's see what your cosmic insight messages are here. I just heard the name Angela and Peter. Angela and Peter. Okay, so guardian, a lost love watches over you. A lost loved one. Okay, beautiful. And you also have date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Oh, some of you might be accepting a date. Right? You might be. Or asking someone out on a date. You also have liar. Be careful if someone's sneaky. Hmm, that's a message. That's a message. And then, oh, we have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius showing up here again. So when we say air sign, it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Always keep that in mind. And you also have open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. And, and you also have earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be you. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, let's break out Amira's deck and see. Mira's like, oh, hey, what's this? What do we have here? You see it? You see it? Can't get it. Can't get it. Oh, obstacles. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of block. Definitely a block, a delay. Obstacles on the path. Yeah, that's definitely happening here. Might be a decision to unblock or block. You also have young male, sporty, cars, youthful. Okay. So this could be a young male or a youthful looking male. 
looks like brown eyes and I'm sorry, brown hair and blue eyes. So that could be you. Maybe you drive a fancy car, sporty car. Oh, you also have a dark male, darker than lighter. Okay. Brown eyes, brown hair, darker skin. There's also travel showing up here. So there might be some travel connection. Maybe you're going somewhere with your buds or your friends this month. You also have a mature man. So you've got a young male, a mature male. This could be, um, all right. So we could have a father with a couple of kids or a father with a kid and a friend or adopted. Um, he could have a connection to you in some way. It could be you going traveling somewhere. You have twin flame. Spiritual alignment, effortless and karmic. Look at the flower. It's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, this does kind of feel like a twin flame thing. Uh, hence the struggle. But it does say effortless. So maybe something will change. Sometimes the twin flame energy is frustrating because... I tend to think twin flames... It's rare, and I do think twin flames tend to connect with each other before they're ready to connect with each other. That can happen a lot. And then the whole, well, why did spirit introduce me to my twin flame if we weren't ready to be together? I get it. All right, let's see. Okay, patience. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And you also have unavailable. Someone's unavailable to give you all you deserve. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't see two people who are together here. So there's definitely an unavailability. Why are my cards all upside down? All right, let's see. Oh, my God. That's twice. Twin flame. Holy. You guys. It's almost like a, a reading we just don't want to talk about. You know what I mean? But it's there. There's a twin flame connection. That's twice. This is a twin flame. So we'll have to see. I'll, I'll definitely go to the extended and see how things are going to play out for you guys. And especially with this person and what they're going to do. What you're, If you're going to keep moving on. Warning, don't dismiss red flags here. Yeah, there's definitely some red flags. And that might be why you're moving on. And you're done with something. I don't feel like they're done. I feel like they're not sure what to do. I don't see them moving in any direction. All right. I got play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. All right. <laughs> so that kind of gives me a, a sense of like, you know what? Don't take everything, don't take this thing too seriously. And you might not be. Um, but if you feel like you are, I just feel like the message here is, you know, just try to be happy. Do your best to find your joy. Okay. But there's a decision. It's going to come up. Now, it might come up for you again. Or it might be them. Like I said, there's definitely a decision. I feel like that's on their part because that's where we were going with that. All right. Oh, let's just get a couple of physical features, oracle messages see if we can get some insight on the looks okay someone might have very colorful hair uh, someone has blue eyes we've already said that uh, we do have baldness we do have brown hair okay a man bun i saw a guy today at the gym with a man bun I couldn't tell how old he was, but he had he looked just like that. And he was he was tall, but he was really muscular. And I was like, he must be about like 24, 23. I haven't seen anybody wearing a man bun in a while. But then again, I don't hang around with people that wear man buns. Like I don't that I think that's like way a lot younger than me. Um, but yeah, I did see that today. And actually, I thought it looked really good on him. Okay, we have straight hair. Someone has very straight hair. And it looks like it's dark. 
And then we also have someone here who's of average height. So that would be what? For a man and for a woman? What's the average height for a man? Average height for a woman. Let's see. Average, I think I know average height for a man is like a woman, I think is like five, four, five, five for a man. No, five foot two for a female. Uh, that's average height. Five foot six for a male. Okay. Huh. I did not know that. And now this says, okay, well, that's AI. <laughs> and now this says worldwide, the average height for a male is five feet seven, five foot seven. And in the U.S., it's five foot nine. Okay, whatever. We're going too much on this. <laughs> like, who cares? Oh, and then average weight. Average weight. Okay? Thick. Looking good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get the Chinese signs, right? And see, Chinese sign for your person and or you. All right. Year of the tiger. Year of the monkey. Year of the ox, year of the rat, year of the pig, year of the dog, year of the rooster, and the year of the goat, okay? All right, let's check out your charms and your numbers and all. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, and Taurus, significant signs to you and you might even have that them in your chart somewhere i know everybody has leo all right september 21st age 55 1987 age 49 september 6th age 34 september 11th 1971 the initial h the initial u the initial b hey that's hub Hubba hubba. Mm, let's see. This is a 16. So September 16th. Oops. That was a D. Initial D. Initial A. Initial P. 1978. 1985. Okay. November. Significant month. 66. Uh, August 28th. Age 40. Age 54. August 31st. Okay, we have the letter G. We have the letter O. We have an I. Someone's, um, May is a significant month. We have an E and an A. September 12th. And the letter T. Got T. You got milk. <laughs> I'm hearing Peggy. I guess Elizabeth would be like a Peggy. Um, Todd. Happy birthday. I just heard someone say, do you guys ever have a dream about someone and you wake up the next morning, you remember the dream and it felt so real? Like you could actually, like it felt like a real dream? Like real life? Like you were there in the dream? I don't know how to, if I'm explaining that right. Does anybody ever have that happen to them? Let me know in the comments if you ever had a dream about someone like I remember the last time that that happened to me I actually just happened recently but the last time before that I had a dream that I was dating Paul Stanley from Kiss <laughs> and it felt so real that I think like I mean I was young but the next day um <laughs> which I would never ever date Paul Stanley from Kiss but the next day um I saw like a video and I was like, oh my God, that's my boyfriend. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know, but just maybe I, I, this might be coming up because somebody may have had a recent dream about someone where it's like so hard to shake because it felt in the dream like it was really, you were really there with that person. Like it was really, like it was real. Right? If that's ever happened to you, leave a comment. Let, if you want, if you want, if you want to put it out there, leave a comment if that's ever happened to you and like what kind of dream it was. Usually, 
if you have a dream about someone that you haven't seen in a really long time, like out of the blue, this is so random, you're going to wind up bumping into that person very soon. Yes. Or you're, you're being told about this person. Like it's coming to you through your dream. Okay. There's, it's significant for some reason. They just told me to give you the last four div digits of the phone numbers. So we're going to do that right now. 2187 5549 Three five, I'm sorry, three four one six three one five four seven eight eight five six six four zero. Okay, somebody's having tea right now, sipping on some gin and juice, maybe tea. <laughs> somebody's got an APB out on someone who's missing. God, I hope that's not true, and I hope that if it is, they're found. Okay, like hub. There's something to do with a hub. I do feel like somebody's dabbing. Isn't that a dance? I don't know. Um, okay, someone's cooking up some meat. Cooking meat or eating meat. Some kind of meat. Um, someone is a ho. Ho. It's a ho, ho, ho for Christmas. Like ho, ho, ho. All right, and then I'm picking up someone's watching a PG movie, like PG, maybe like a kid's movie. Um, someone's moving into their new pad or just moved into their new place, their new pad. Very happy. That's a like a fantastic place that they've moved into. Someone's drinking Bud Light or some kind of beer, Bud Light or beer. Don't forget, I'm going into the extended after this reading is over. So the link will be in the description box so you can see... Um, we can look and see if anything's going to change with this person. All right, let's go over to your charms. I get dig deep, bottom of the bowl. All right, we got a whole bunch of charms. All right, we do have, you had some red kissy lips. So somebody's sending or receiving some red kissy lip emoji. Or is wearing red, very bright red lipstick. Okay, I also have a spider's web, so don't get caught in a spider's web, Virgo. If you're walking anywhere at night, getting into that season. Halloween's coming too. So um, I think all the Halloween direct decorations are gonna be out now in the stores. They're probably already putting school supplies and Halloween decorations are coming out. Um, but yeah, this could be something to do with the internet or being on the web as well. Be careful, don't get caught up in some kind of web, I'm hearing. Now you have this really pretty green jade. Oh, I just heard they said the name Jade. Somebody's name is Jade or somebody's wearing Jade. But there's a, a beautiful mermaid here with really long blonde hair, very pretty. You know, you guys, I had a visit from a hummingbird twice today. And I didn't know, um, what, what made me turn around was the sound because when hummingbirds are flapping their wings, they're like, <laughs> it was really loud. And I turned my head and I was like, what the hell is that? And I saw it. I was like, oh, how sweet. I get weird at, we have so many strings. We have a coyote. I just found out we have a coyote here in New Jersey. <laughs> like it's in the woods. I'm like not walking around. I'm just, I'm not going for a walk outside. Nope. I don't know anything about coyotes and I don't want to see one. Unless it's Wiley Coyote, then that's fine. Anyway, my ADHD is kicking in. So yeah, there's a mermaid connection to mermaids. Someone has one. You also have a gingerbread man. You have a little gingerbread man. What's up, dude? Okay. Maybe you'll see one. Thinking about your holiday baking already, Virgo? You already got that, like, working out your holiday baking menu and stuff? Gingerbread man. Oh, they just told me Mr. Bill. I, I kind of vaguely remember that. Mr. Bill. Maybe you have to be my age to remember that, I think. Uh, yeah, connection to gingerbread man. I don't know if it's a song or a band or just the food or maybe you're eating ginger or having some ginger. 
All right, show me this. Ooh, so onyx and diamonds. Somebody wears onyx and diamonds. That's that's a very pretty mix. Onyx, black onyx, and a diamond jewelry. Remember you had gem yesterday? Okay. You also have an elephant and a dinosaur. Ooh. So someone has a, an attachment to elephants some way. Oh, I'm also hearing... Uh, okay, they're giving me this phrase. They're saying, speak less, listen more. Speak less, listen more. And this dinosaur, this is T-Rex. This isn't just like a sweet little brontosaurus or a rhinos or a, a rhino. Wait, what are they called? Triceratops. This is like a man-eater. This is like a carnivore. Big time. Oh, do you remember that song by Hall & Oates? Ho, oh, oh, ho, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. That's Maneater. Ooh, okay. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Yeah, maybe somebody's, there's a, you have know, a connection to dinosaurs. And you also have a very odd looking key here. I, I just want to say. Uh, oh. I just heard, take your profile picture off social media or wherever, wherever you have a profile picture, remove it. I just heard that. Wow, that is weird. I don't know what that has to do with the key, but they just said, take it down or take it, remove it for a while or take it off your profile picture, wherever you have it. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe it's on your phone. I don't know, but they're saying, take it down. Maybe you already did, but they're saying like, take, take the, I don't know why, but it's connected to like, that's the key they're saying. The key is, that's the key. That's going to change everything I'm hearing. Take that profile picture down. Okay, whatever. I'm not judging. I don't know what you, like, I don't even know who I'm talking to, or what anything has to do with a profile picture. But yeah, so I'm going to go into the extended reading and we'll see what's going to happen with your person. I just want to say thank you to Bolan Bolan Lee. Bowl and Lee Arise for joining yesterday. Sharon Theodore Deneurs. Thank you everyone for becoming members, part of the loyalty group. Don't forget, if you want to join the members only um, video VIP membership, you can also upgrade your, your membership to that second tier. Uh, you just, once you click the join button, you just have to scroll down. It's down there on the bottom. All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave this here. Tomorrow I'll be back with your weekend reading. So do check that out. And um, I'm going to try to upload over the weekend on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. If you haven't gone over there, definitely go over there. So get some videos up there for you guys as well. All right, you guys, have a fantastic night. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one.